Sorry for that brief pause in the action. I'm gonna go ahead and resume this game now. So as you recall, before I was interrupted, these cannons were inside my base. This cannon rush pretty effectively threatening my extractors. And um, I, at this point, I just didn't know how to react. I tried to get a spine crawler in play, but the cannons took out that spine crawler pretty easily, as they're just a superior static defense. So, um, yeah, in the meantime, Spliffy is being a pretty good ally. He's coming in here with this pretty basic squad of marines, but there's not much that they can do um, except to try to snipe out this one pylon, but there's lots of proton cannon support. Going to be chipping away at these zerg legs, taking them down very easily, not even attacking the pylon. These marines are also probably going to go down to this pylon as both of these cannons are in range of these marines. Now this one cannon is and it's going to take that take down that marine pretty handily. Now a second pylon going up here for Sean Kingston just in case his rush was uh, going to be countered. Fat Deluxe also jumping smartly to this high yield expansion knowing that his partner is doing a good job putting pressure on uh, both of our players, my ally and myself. I have these zerglings in position possibly trying to counterattack because I know my base is not uh, it's kind of a lost cause right now. Getting this Hydralisk down, as I guess that was the um, the most accessible um, uh, choice that was kind of a counter to these cannons, but I mean, even so, they Hydralisks are differently. They're anything but a hard counter to photon cannons. Just scouting out this expansion with my Zerglings. Don't see that an expansion is there, so I'm probably pretty concerned if I was smart, I would have checked this high yield, which is where he is, in fact, building. Uh, Bliffy, my ally, getting a bunch of factories, so maybe some Hellions, possibly Siege Tanks, and Thor's gonna be accompanying these infantry units. <laughs> so this Cannon Rush, really doing a nice job taking a look at units lost. One casualty for blue, and uh, heavy casualties on our side. Now this Zealot army is gonna be defending against that little Zergling push. These Marauders trying to outrange these cannons. They actually do a good job of taking down that one pylon. So, um, some pretty nice play here from Spliffy to try to help defend, but yeah, in retaliation, if you, if you take a look at Sean Kingston's pylon power, it's pretty well distrib distributed, even though, even though that one pylon did drop to those marauders, he's got this pylon right here providing this much power, um, essentially powering all of the remaining cannons, plus he's got this one in the back, which is powering the majority of the rest of his pylons. So definitely an effective cannon rush here from Sean Kingston that I was not able to react to quickly enough. And Fat Duck here is going to charge into my base, easily dispensing these zealots, these, or sorry, the zerglings, the zealots just shrugging off that attack. Um, definitely being the superior warriors in that uh, encounter. So there goes my hatchery. I'm definitely in trouble. I've got these uh, photon cannons in my main base. They can't build any closer because... Um, Units that do not belong to the Zerg race cannot build on creep, so that's why you don't see any additional cannons, really. These stalkers are now being warped in very smartly from Sean Kingston's pylon power, and they're going to be chipping away at my drones. The drones pulling back, not really able to run anywhere. I have this metal expansion here set up, but really all my tech plunder is going to go down. My lair is going to go down. And meanwhile, the red and blue team, red is operating very comfortably in his base off of these three chrono boosted warp gates, so yeah, their chrono boost is going to be affecting that cooldown pretty smartly of Sean Kingston. Definitely something Protoss players want to keep in mind um, as far as warp gates go. Just, just to confirm that yes, chrono boosts will increase the cooldown on warp gates. That was what I was trying to say there. But yeah, the charge is active on these zealots, they're going to be mowing down these drones, not being microed away. Uh, I did get a handful of them away, <laughs> my knee-jerk reaction is to build a bunch of spine crawlers, but they're probably not going to go up in time. As Blink is also not completed for Sean Kingston's stalkers, so a pretty wise combination of a handful of sentries, zealots, and stalkers uh, as a combined Protoss force here. Opening with that Protoss, uh, sorry, the Photon Cannon Rush, accompanied by just basic tier 1 units, able to give those cannons the support and the trump card that they need. So Spiffy and my, and my partner Spliffy here uh, admitting defeat, or we will be anyway, to the superior to these two superior Protoss players. Um, in the future, that we will be definitely expecting photon cannon rushes, and just as everyone really should be scouting out this little uh, fogged up corner in their bases here on Metalopolis. The Zealots trying to focus down this Thor. The Thor getting a total of two kills, but it is going to succumb to these Zealots. Spliffy trying to use his high ground here. I've got two drones huddled behind that Marauder trying to just maintain the Zerg survival. But just to reiterate, yeah, that expansion there was lost. This hatchery here is not going to be able to be defended by my ally as he has nothing left really. Can't blame him either. 
as I could not ward off that initial Photon Cannon Rush. So just nearing the ends of this game, you guys can watch the Protoss forces expertly blink into my allies' base and just level these Terran buildings. I do expect a GG from us any longer now, we're not gluttons for punishment by any means, and there's the GG, all players being good sportsmen-like people with no questionable con uh, conduct as you do often see on Battle.net, but yeah, GG's all around except from Red, probably cut off the replay a little too early there to see his, but yeah, there was a pretty decent example of a photon cannon rush that I was not able to scout out in time, so thanks for watching guys, uh, take care and thanks for watching my